Good day, everyone. Let us first define web. The web, or also known as the World Wide Web, is a subset of the internet that consists of pages that can be accessed using a web browser. Many people confuse the web and the internet and the use of the terms interchangeably. However, the term internet actually refers to the global network of servers that enables information sharing via the web. Web 1.0 Web 1.0 is a term used to distinguish the first stage of the WWW or the World Wide Web from the current stage of internet technology. At the beginning of the uh, Web 1.0, there were first very few web content creators, second WWW or read-only web since there was no user interaction. Next, web pages are static. Static means that none of the content displayed was generated by any other code or script. Now, static pages do not change unless the creator manually modifies the file and appear the same to all visitors. Lastly, feedback mechanism was through private email, and direct comment was not available. Next is Web 2.0. In 2004, the term Web 2.0 was first used. It was the first or it was the birth of social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Users can now interact contribute and create using the internet which has also facilitated or which has also facilitated the spread of various types of information over the internet now the internet evolved uh, into a tool for communicating with people virtually web pages are now created using the uh, web programming language such as php python ruby and perl it became easier to share videos, photos, stories, and opinions. Now, Web 2.0 was the introduction of the term read-write web. Next, we have the Web 3.0 or 3.0. Now, Web 3.0 is also known as semantic web or data-driven web content and response by web experts. Web services such as programs that can interact with a website to search for what a person is looking for are created in addition to what Web 2.0 and Web 1.0 can do. Now, Web 3.0 evolve into an improved version of Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. Now, to summarize, Web 1.0 is only capable of viewing websites, while Web 2.0 enables users' participation, collaboration, interaction, content creation, and virtually virtual community involvement. Because of all the information, user-generated content, and contributions from people who use the web, uh, Web 3.0 is the next development on the web. The web 3.0 transforms user-created and contributed web content into useful information as needed by the user. Web 3.0 is also known as data-driven or semantic web, which is used for web services to meet the needs of the user. And that concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.